Hey guys, so I wanted to do a quick beauty haul for you today. Um, I was a little bit naughty and I went to Boots um, and bought a few bits. So that's what I'm going to show you now. Before I start, um, I will just mention that I have been travelling quite a lot for work. I was in Slovenia um, a couple of days ago. Got really sick while I was shooting a Peugeot advert, so if I sound really nasal and my throat is a little bit sore, then that is why. So I'm sorry that I sound a little bit more manly than usual. Um, also, before I start, I'm going to just tell you what is on my lips, because I'm sure that I will get quite a few questions on this. Um, but obviously, all my makeup, as usual, will be listed in the description box for you, as well as all the products that I'm going to show you. Um, this is the Rouge Edition uh, lipstick by Bourgeois in the colour... 09 um, and it is a really nice orangey colour so that is what I'm wearing on my lips today um, so let's just get on with the haul so I was at duty free and I bought a few nail polishes um, I bought two from OPI the first one I have is charged up cherry looks like this um, it's just a really nice hot pink colour I shall show you the name on the bottom um, first OPI nail polish, I don't actually own any, I don't think, maybe I do, um, but I've never really gone in and bought, I think I might have bought like a packet from um, TK Maxx a little while ago that was like a, you know, a multi-pack, kind of really cheap. Um, and then also I was looking for a really nice yellow, because I bought one from Rimmel and it's so streaky and it doesn't come out the colour that is in the bottle, which really irritates me. So I bought this other one from OPI called Need Sunglasses. And it's just a really bright, sunny yellow, so I thought that would look really cute with a tan. Um, then I have my first um, Butter London Nail Polish that's not like a glitter one. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, this is called Trout Pout. And I've been eyeing this up for a while, it's actually what I have on my nails now. It's just a really creamy, peachy coral colour. Really, really nice for summer, really good with a tan, because as you can tell... I am quite tanned right now. Woohoo! Um, then I finally caved, and I know that the Sesh Vite uh, Dry Fast Top Coat is something that is blogged about and talked about here on YouTube and on, you know, written blogs and things. All the beauty bloggers love it. And I hadn't bought it before because I know that it tends to get quite gloopy quite quickly. Um, <coughs> sorry guys. Um, but it's, um, I caved, I bought it, I'm wearing it over the top of Trout Pout and I absolutely love it. I did not realise just how fast this stuff dries, it is crazy. I did two layers of this on top of a base coat, which I will show you in a second, and it's so shiny, I haven't chipped yet, it's just oh, so nice and it dries ridiculously quickly. So really happy with that so far, I will let you know how I get on. Um, I know that most people say when it gets down to about here, it gets really gloopy, so you're kind of wasting quite a bit of the product, but we will see how I get on with that. Um, then I got a quick dry base coat from Revlon. This is the one that I always use, stops your nails going yellow. Really, really like it. I think it's like £6 or something, so it's not too expensive, um, and it's kind of like a whitey colour. Then I bought some hair bits. Um, because my hair is slightly darker now, and um, I had to have it redone, I know... Um, in my last um, makeup video, my makeup bag video, updated makeup bag thingy, um, I had quite light hair again. Um, this is because to correct the blonde, as I have already explained, they had to put a really dark brunette semi-permanent over the top so that it wouldn't go ginger. Um, it lightened up very quickly, started to go quite warm again, so I went back to the salon and they put a permanent colour. So this is the colour that I will be staying, it's a bit more ashy, suits my eyebrows much better, I feel, for those of you, I think someone commented on my last video and I kind of put them straight saying, it's not a very nice way to say that, but thank you, um, it does look better a little bit darker because I'm quite olivey anyway. Um, so I got shampoo to go with this, I got the Tony and Guy Cleanse shampoo for brunette hair just because I think it will hold the colour better because obviously you guys know what I do for work and I have been very very busy shooting all manner of things lately and um, the salon said that not only will the sun lighten it and we all know it's been particularly sunny in the UK if you live here it's been beautiful um, but heat 
lightens it and obviously because I work so often I have to go into work with clean hair so I have to wash it very often so the washing and the heat and the sun on top of it I don't want the colour to fade and lighten up really quickly again like it did last time so I bought the shampoo for brunette hair um, which smells amazing it smells yummy um, and then I don't normally spend a lot on shampoo um, obviously I like the um, the bedhead ones for moisture so I've been kind of like toing and froing between this and the other one because I want to keep my colour in and then I bought not the matching one but I bought one from John Frieda which is brilliant brunette multi-tone revealing enhancing conditioner um, and I used this for the first time yesterday or last night and it makes your hair smell so good it is so soft so shiny so healthy looking I am really enjoying this combination right now so I'll let you know how I get on with that and probably I will get back into doing a written vlog as well I've just been crazy busy lately um, then I got a couple of body bits this is a little bit damp still because I've stolen it from my shower um, I've been really into scrubbing lately because I have to shave lots and I find if you scrub first and then shave you get a lot closer shave and you're all nice and smooth for a little bit longer and it just makes your skin look all glowy and lovely so I bought this um, loofah thingy, it's kind of like, not scratchy, but you guys know what I mean, I'm sure a lot of you body brush. Um, so I got this, um, I also got one from Botanics, this is just like a boots one, this is a body brush, I think you can use it dry, you're supposed to go circular motions sort of towards your heart, working up towards your body, um, and it just kind of gets the circulation going and makes you look all glowy and nice, it's supposed to be good for cellulite, but who knows if that actually helps or not. Um, then I got one makeup item. This is the Sexy Mother Pucker Gloss Stick from, uh, what's it called? Soap and Glory. Mind blank. Um, this is the colour Nudist. I've seen Fleur talk about these. Um, and I thought this would be a really nice everyday colour maybe for castings and stuff. Or just if I didn't really want a, you know, a full colour on my lips. Um, I have worn it once. It is really nice. It's quite a natural colour. It has a nice sheen to it. Last and okay came out of time, just one of these crayon things, you don't have to sharpen it or anything. Really easy to chuck on and throw in your handbag kind of stuff. Really, really nice. Kind of like halfway between, kind of reminds me of the Revlon lip butters. It sort of has a sheen, but it gives you a nice amount of colour as well. And then, this is my favourite thing that I bought. And some of you might think that I'm a little bit sad, but it is the Vaseline Spray and Go Moisturiser. This is a body moisturiser in an aerosol can oh my god I saw it I didn't need it because I have oils and stuff I like to use oils as a moisturiser or the body shop body butters but I hate being sticky um, so that's why I do oils because they sink in better and if I need something a bit more you know proper full on moisturiser then I will use the uh, body shop body butters but I saw this and it smells like cocoa butter because it's it's the cocoa radiance one I think they do a couple of other versions um, but I thought, oh my god, an aerosol moisturiser. It says it was, you know, non-sticky, you can put your clothes straight on, moisturises in seconds, um, non-greasy, and oh my god, this is like my new favourite thing ever. I've sprayed it on my mum, I've been spraying it on me, it sinks in really quickly, it makes your skin feel so, so soft and moisturised. It's perfect if you are trying to do a little bit of moisturiser for, um, you know, before you fake tan or something. I mean, I don't really need to fake tan at the moment because I'm pretty brown, but um, ideal, you can do like a couple of sprays, or you can layer it up and it sinks in straight away. Lovely. I'm coughing so much today, guys. I'm really sorry. Um, so yeah, absolutely love this stuff. This is probably my favourite buy, as sad as that sounds. Um, I think that's all I have to show you. So I hope that you're having a lovely day and that you're all nice and glowy and tanned and but remember to wear your SPF because you don't want to burn um and I will see you in the next one everything that I have bought will be listed down below for you lovelies and I hope you're having a nice day and I will see you in the next one okay bye